Welcome to the Structure Studios online video series. This video will explain materials. Let's start by changing the material on our fire pit trim cap. Double click the cap. The selected surface highlights in red. Now we'll head to the library to select a new material. The library is open to the materials tab. Click stone to view the options. Then click limestone. We'll double click off-white to apply it to the fire pit cap. Great! We want the seating wall to match, so double-click the seating wall cap to select it and then double-click the off-white limestone in the library to apply it. With the control button we can select more than one surface at a time. Let's change two planters from mulch to rock. Double-click the planter next to the fire pit to select it. Once it's selected, Hold down Control and click the planter along the back fence. When both surfaces are highlighted in red, head back to the library and click Earth. Then click Rock. We'll double click Beach Pebbles to apply it. The quickest way to apply the same material to multiple surfaces is with Quick Selection in the panel. These buttons allow you to select all objects of a specific type at once. House selects the exterior walls of house shapes. Coping selects the coping applied to all shapes. Tile selects the pool and spa tile line and trim tile. Interior selects the pool and spa interior finish. Hardscape selects the top surface of hardscapes. Riser selects hardscape risers and staircases. Planters selects the planter surface and depth. Wall Fence selects walls, fences, and railing. At any time, you can cancel your selection by pressing the Select None button at the top of the screen. Let's apply a new interior to our pool and spa. Click Interior under Quick Selection. The pool and spa interior highlight in red. We'll head to the library to find a new finish. Close the Earth and Stone categories and then press the Clear button to remove the thumbnails. Click Pool Interiors to see the options. We'll click Regular Pebble. Double click each thumbnail to see a preview of the finish. The color of the water even changes with the material selection. We'll apply Light Gray. Now we want to apply a new tile material. Click Tile under Quick Selection. The tile line and trim tiles are highlighted. In the library, click Pool Interiors to close the category and then press the Clear button to remove the thumbnails. Click Tile to see the options. We'll use one by one tile. Double click each thumbnail to see a preview of the tile. The new interior and glass tile look great. Below Quick Selection is Material Manipulation. Here we can scale, rotate, and pan materials. Let's use these tools to customize a paver pattern. Double-click the hardscape under the fire pit. Head back to the library and click Pavers. Then click Stack to view the options. We'll use 8-inch gray. Click the thumbnail to select it and press the Apply Material button at the bottom of the library. With the surface selected, we'll increase the size of the pavers by adjusting the scale. We can use the slider or type in a value. To create 12-inch pavers, we'll set the scale to 150%. We can also rotate the material. Let's lay the pavers on a diagonal. Use the slider or type in 45 to set the rotation to 45 degrees. Below the sliders is the Move Material button. This allows us to pan the material on the surface. Activate Move Material. When our cursor enters the 3D viewport, our cursor is now a hand. Press and hold the left mouse button to move the material as you move your mouse. This is a great tool to align materials to the edge. Once the scale and rotation are set, we can use Copy and Paste to apply the material to other surfaces. Press Ctrl plus C to copy the material. Then double click the deck around the pool. Once the pool deck is selected, press the Select Matching button in the panel. This will select all the deck with matching material. When all the deck is selected, 
press Ctrl plus V to apply the paver. All of the custom changes we made to the material automatically apply to the new surface. Select Matching will also select shapes from multiple stages. Let's double click the post of our railing to apply a new wood material. To change all of the wood at once, click Select Matching in the panel. This will automatically select all other shapes that have this material applied. Now our posts, wood deck, and pergola are selected. Let's head back to the library to choose a new finish. Close the pavers and tile categories and then press the clear button to remove the thumbnails. Now click the wood category. Then click structural to see the options. Our client likes dark wood, so we'll try chestnut, mocha, and espresso to see which one looks best. For this project, we'll use espresso. Shapes can also have unique materials applied to each face. Double-click the house. When we do, all exterior walls are selected. If we only want to change the material on one wall, we need to double-click that side. Let's apply stone to the wall under the covered patio. Double-click the wall. Now only that wall of the house is highlighted in red. Let's head to the library to find the stone. Click Stone to view the options. Then click Stacked. We'll double-click Rustic to apply it. When we apply the stone, only this wall is affected. All other walls of the house retain the original material. If we would like to change the hue of the stone, we use the color sliders in the panel. As we move the slider, our stone updates automatically. Use the first slider to change the color. Use the second slider to change the brightness. And use the third slider to change the color saturation. Press the Reset Material button to undo the changes and set the material back to its original color. We can also use the color swatches below the sliders to apply color to the selected material. As you click each color swatch, the color updates automatically. When we click Change Same, all surfaces with the same material will update to reflect the changes made with the color sliders or swatches. Customized materials can be saved to the library. With the stone selected, click the Save button in the bottom left corner of the library. Select the Stone category and then the Stacked type. We'll name our material Rustic Ledge Gray and click OK to save it. We can also adjust the color and apply new materials to library items. Let's double click the cushion. Now select a color swatch. As we click each swatch, the color of the cushion updates automatically or we can apply a material from the library. Click the search bar at the top of the library next to the magnifying glass. Type Fabric and press Enter to search. Double-click each canvas color to see which option you like best. The Currently Used tab displays a list of all the library materials currently applied to surfaces in the design. This makes it easy to apply those materials on more surfaces. Materials are listed alphabetically by category name. To see where the material is used, click the Material thumbnail to select it, and then press the Select Matching button at the bottom of the library. This will automatically select all shapes that have this material applied. This makes it easy to change all the shapes at once. Using the techniques we learned in this video, we'll finish applying materials to our project. VIP 3D members also have an exclusive feature. Double-click the grass on the terrain. Toggle 3D Grass On to apply 3D grass to your terrain. Add a check mark to dandelions and dandelion flowers to include these in the grass. The last setting is Visible While Designing. Add a green eye if you'd like to see 3D grass in design stages. 3D Grass will slow down your system, so we recommend adding a red X to only display 3D Grass when in the material stage and during your presentation, photos, and videos. This completes instruction on materials. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com/help.